How's it going, everybody? It's Bug here from Spooky Pinball, and today I'm giving you a quick guide on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre menu. To use this menu, you'll be using the four buttons inside of your coin door. The green button enters the menu system. Black buttons are for left and right. Red is to exit out. So after you hit that green button, it will take you into the menu, and as you cycle through, you'll see options for all sorts of things, such as the lights, the coils, the switches, the servos, utilities, updating your code. Let's first take a look at the switch test menu. So you enter into the switch test menu, and as you activate switches on your playfield or in the cabinet, it will register on the screen that you are actuating those switches. This is a great way to make sure all your switches are tuned in on the machine. So next you have the light test menu. In this menu you can check that all of the lights on your machine are functioning. You can check them individually, all together. You can cycle through all the different colors, the playfield lights, the speaker lights, topper lights, apron lights. Every light in the game can be found under this menu. We also have our coil settings menu. Let's say something like your slings, you want them to be more strong, less strong. You enter into this menu, you select it, you can turn it down or up. And then as well as setting the power to your coils, you can also test how they're functioning. You can go into the coil test menu and fire each individual coil in the machine to see that it's working by hitting that green button over top of that option. In our servo settings menu, you can go to each individual servo in the game, select it, and change how you want it set in the machine, like your hook lock on the back. You can change that chute to be further to the left, further to the right, uh, as well as your door. You can change it to be more open, more closed, just using your coin door buttons. You can change where these servos are set. You'll mostly be using the utilities menu to update the code in your machine. Now, to adjust the magnet throw in front of that door, you're going to go to the gameplay settings and you're going to scroll down to where it says door sling adjust. Now, the goal here is we obviously want to set this so that it catches the ball and perfectly throws it into the door on the machine. So what the door sling adjust setting is doing is it's changing the amount of time that it allows the ball to drop before it is thrown up into the door. If you set this value lower, it will give the ball less time to be dropped before flung up at the door, which you'll notice here, it just barely drops and then just gets released down to the bottom of the playfield. Now if you set this value higher, it's going to allow the ball more time to be dropped before being thrown up into the door. If you set it too high, it'll drop it so low that it just basically falls right off the magnet and down your playfield, which is no good. You want to get the value set to where it's dropping the ball the perfect amount and then throwing it up into the door. This is all dependent on the pitch of your game. So we tune this in at the factory to work on the production line, but if you set your game to a different pitch, you'll probably have to adjust this setting in your menu to get the magnet fling working the way you want. These are just a few of the primary tests that you can use in your menu system on the machine. If you have any questions about the remaining ones, please contact service at spookypinball.com. The email and phone number is right inside your coin door. Thanks for watching and have a great day.